This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. going on YouTube and welcome to another episode of Go Figure. Today I have for you guys from the Legend series line of Venom, we've got Marvel's Toxin. Rah! So this is a pretty badass looking figure. Um, I was super excited to find this in the wild. So guys, let's go ahead. Let's give a quick look at the box and then we'll go ahead and get this open. All right, guys. So as you can see here on the front, we've got the Legend series logo. We've got the Venom logo. We've got Toxin. We've got the Hasbro logo on the side. And on the side here, you can see we've got the cool art print of Toxin with the green tongue and the little symbiotes that are coming off, which is really cool. On the back, you've got the glamour shot of Toxin. You've also got a little backstory that comes along with it. Again, on the side, we've got that same art print that's there, which is really cool. On the top, just the, a little bit of the, the little symbiote creatures that are coming off. And on the bottom... Just nothing but the barcode. So guys, let's go ahead and get this cracked open. All right, guys. So here is Toxin out of the box. And as you can see, there are multiple symbiotes that have to get attached to him. Also, there is the back plate that has to go onto his back. Because for packaging purposes, obviously, it takes up too much space. So that's why they did that. So let's go ahead and attach that back plate real fast. Obviously, there are pins. Everything just lines up and snaps right into place. So let's take a look at the symbiotes. So as you guys can see on the symbiotes, there are the little creatures out there with the tongues and everything like that. So I'm kind of almost disappointed because if you go back and take a look at the pictures that were on the box, the tongues were green. There was a little bit more green in the mouth. So I think this is just kind of like a cop out in my opinion. They're like, oh, let's just do this the one color and, and that's it. I would have liked to seen the mouth green and the tongue green kind of like on the picture and it's kind of like the same thing on all of them so and these do have the plugs that go into the back so obviously you just have to find the matching spots and also we have some smaller ones that also attach i believe to the arms at some point so let's go ahead let me get these attached and then we'll go ahead and give you guys a better look all right guys so here he is and you guys can see everything is plugged in in the back and it's like wow there is a lot going on here in the back more than there was on venom um i think this is too much i think this is personally overkill in my opinion um i mean i get it but yeah i think if there was some more like i said if there was some more color to the symbiote to the creatures on the symbiote i think it would have looked a little bit better in my opinion than just kind of like red spaghetti kind of coming off of him in my opinion um this is the same body mold as they used for the venom build a figure and the venom deluxe figure that they released not too long ago so obviously i could tell by the hands and the body structure and everything like that which is kind of cool obviously the portrait's different the portrait is actually really cool you can see the green the green tongue the green in the mouth the yellow in the eyes which is really cool um the teeth which are really nice so this is the portrait is really done on this um obviously to me this is just a reuse of the mold for the figure so you know there's really not much there in the way of that um the transitioning from the paint is kind of cool how it goes from red and then it starts slowly fading into black which is really cool i like that transition um the paint looks pretty clean for the most part um some spots are matte some spots are gloss so i don't know if that's the way they intended on doing that but i think again a little bit less of this symbiote spaghetti in the back would have been a little bit better sometimes less is more in my opinion so let's go ahead and get down to the articulation so with the articulation obviously the head you can see pivots down a little bit goes up a lot but not so much down um it does do a full 360 not that you need it the arms go up yay high over here the elbows are single jointed so there's not much there the wrist does pivot up 
and down a little bit does a full 360 rotation the abs do a lot of crunching also goes back a little bit as well um, the knees are double jointed as you guys can see right there also the thigh rotates um, the wrist there's pivoting with the uh, with the torso um, as far as the feet goes the feet goes up down um, there's not that much. Well, it does, does a full 360 pivot, which is kind of cool. Um, just kind of like the other Venom figure. But the articulation on this is pretty good. Um, I like this a lot. So let's go ahead and get this into some poses. All right, guys. And there you see we got him in some poses. We've got the arm pulled back like he's going to strike and claw at somebody. You know, and again, uh, it's just so hard to get past that red spaghetti symbiote. I don't know about you guys. And... I, I just, I don't know about it. It's just, it's really hard for me to get past this. I think it's just way too much. Um, I think it kind of adds a little unnecessary weight too, so it might mess up the balancing of the figure a little bit. But overall, this is pretty cool. Not a whole lot of poses you can kind of get him into. Unless you have a stand, you can kind of do like almost like a jumping pose. Um, let me get a stand. Let me see if we can try. Let me see if I even have a stand that fits that waist. All right, guys, and here is one more, one more pose for you guys. Unfortunately, I do not have a flight stand that is big enough to fit around that waist. So I'll have to do my research to see if I could find another one. But here is another striking pose for you guys. Again, the figure is really cool. I'm digging the portrait. Again, I just wish that they would have done added some other color to the uh, spaghetti symbiote in the back. Instead of just making it straight red. If they would have added that little hue of green, that probably would have been good. Alright guys, I do like this figure, but I do have some issues with it. Um, again, I wish they would have made less of the symbiote on the back. Um, it is definitely going to make an issue, in my opinion, if you try to put it on a shelf. Because it does come out yay far and does take up a lot of room. Again, I also wish they would have painted some green on the symbiote creatures to give it a little uh, a little something extra just so it's just not so red and just doesn't blend in um but i like i, I do like the portrait um i do like the posability of it i definitely like the transition of the paint from the red to the black so if i had to give this figure a rating i would give it a rating of meh and yeah so if you guys disagree with me or agree with me, please comment below. I would like to definitely hear your thoughts and opinions on this figure. And guys, if you do like this video, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of Go Figure gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at MCE. And until next time, guys, Go Figure.